down but not out. The battle between the NRM leadership and the rebel MPs who were expelled from the party still continues. Despite a letter from the government chief whip Justin Lumumba stopping them from participating in parliamentary committees, the four MPs are still attending the committees. Wilfred Niwagaba of Dora East, who belongs to the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, told NTV that he has received the notes but will not heed to it. Of course, when I read it, I treated it with the contempt it deserves for two good reasons. One, membership to the committee is by virtue of my being a member of parliament, not by virtue of belonging to NRIM. Rampala MP Vincent Chamadidi was suspended for three months and instructed not to be seen anywhere in parliament. But the MP who was appointed by NRM to sit on the Natural Resources Committee dismissed the decision. Because suspension from the party can be accepted, but they also tell you for avoidance of doubt what that entails. But I don't know that. I am actually surprised. If you tell me I was suspended, fine, tell me I was suspended. Suspended from party activities? Agreed. Suspended from parliament? I don't know. I mean, you have no right whatsoever as a party to suspend me from parliament. These two MPs were today going about their parliament business, saying nobody would stand in their way. We are in this struggle with the cause for a purpose, and we are not going to cow down. Because we still believe that we, the few of us, is our obligation not only to protect the constitution but to promote the rule of law and good governance. I am a member of the Natural Resources Committee, I am a member of the Parliamentary Forum on Oil and Gas, and you say because I am a member of the Parliamentary Forum on Oil and Gas, then I, that is a faction of NRM? That is ridiculous. Is he a permanent secretary or the interdicted permanent secretary? We are West MP Banabas Tinkasimire, who chairs the Presidential Affairs Committee, has since become more vocal on what he sees as government excesses. Although the MPs were nominated by the NRM to chair or be members of parliamentary committees, it is the whole parliament that gives the final approval. According to the rules and procedure of parliament, MPs have the liberty to sit on any committee, but only sign reports or vote on matters in committees where they are members. Parliament is yet to pronounce itself on the fate of the expelled MPs. Agnes Nandutu, NTV. Parliament.